how many siblings many? do you have? I don't know, dude. The internet's too fucking weird to give out all that information. Oh, you don't uh, even want to say really? how many because you're afraid that it will yeah, compromise your privacy. Yeah, by all means, keep talking privacy. about it. Is there anybody you can cut this out? I'm honest, dude. Like, Seriously? Yeah, no, oh. dude. I, yeah, there's fucking lunatics out there. Okay. Well, Off the air. Off the air, I'll tell you. All right. Jeez. <laughs> I love how surprised he is. Jeez. Well, there's you actually, can mention the amount. Absolutely, absolutely <laughs> crazy people. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know why that got so <laughs> flat. You got Come one on. question to ask Don Rickles. Uh, who killed Kennedy? <laughs> <laughs> you think he knows? Well, yeah. Well, he hung out with Sinatra. I figure <laughs> six degrees of separation. He probably knows. Yeah. Why not? Where's well, Jimmy Hoffa? I'd ask him one of those. You know, you know, he, you, you ask him three mob questions. One of them, he's got the answer to. You don't have any kids. No, I don't. I don't like the way you said that. Like you, said very, <laughs> you don't have any kids. No, I don't have any kids. I'm going to adopt. <laughs> That's nice. I'm going to rescue a couple of the children that work till four in the morning <laughs> to put this. They make them catch it when it rains. <laughs> okay, and you have to stand out there <laughs> and, until it's full. And if it doesn't rain that day, you actually get beaten and they dock your pay because you didn't do the rain dance right. And then we sit here and we drink this shit and we wonder why China hates us. When did you start shaving your head? Uh, when did I start shaving my head? I shaved it. I had my first, my first special. I had it shaved. Really? I didn't? Yeah. When I saw you in New York well, I'm for glad, the Patrice I'm glad thing. you liked it. I, I see I you like losing the roof there in the back. Yeah, You'll be right bit, there with me. Bit. I'll be we'll, do a, we'll do a buddy cop show. Exactly. All right, two balding old guys exactly. going after some hairy criminal. Where did you play the cop on uh, Breaking Bad? Breaking like Bad. Things. I wasn't Breaking a cop Bad. in Breaking Bad. And I had my head shaved on my first special. You didn't do your research. You were Where? so busy worried about this match and this. And now Where look at you. Where were you a you. cop? Huh? What You're show were you a, a cop sweat on? on your upper I know, lip. Because I'm nervous. Because I'm fucking this up. Are you from Southie? No. That's, that's a Goodwill hunting question that I've answered <laughs> for 15 years. Ever since that movie came out. Are you good at math? Do you like apples? Oh, from flannel underscore toilet, semicolon. Um, when is Do You Think Moonshine will make it, make their big comeback? Well, Moonshoes. I, I can't read, by the way. When is Do You Think Moonshoes will make their big comeback? What are, what are Moonshoes? It's like trampolines on your feet. You see that you're bouncing around like you're on the moon. I didn't know that they ever had them. <laughs> <laughs> flannel toilet? I had no idea. Um, uh, so, but if I had to guess, when, when did they come up? <laughs> I, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, does anybody fucking know? Jesus Christ. Can women be funny? Will you guys just fucking grow up and just sit down and write your own horse shit and come up with it? Start your own fucking show, have your own award show. Quit waiting around for other people to do shit for you. That's the fucking problem. If you guys had your own big club and I was standing outside of it, you'd never fucking let me in. I'd start my own shit. You guys got to start your own shit. You got brains in there, right? Uh, I, yes, absolutely. So write your own shit and quit your fucking whining. We're all eating a giant shit sandwich out here. Nobody cares. I don't care. Absolutely, but I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a white person. The fuck up. Uh, I, it has no makes no yeah. difference whether you got a dick or a twat. All right? <laughs> Just do what the fuck you want to do, and hopefully people respond to it. But this fucking horseshit of quotas and all of this crap you become undeniable. Well, when was the last time you went on stage and you killed so hard the person after you bombed? If you're fucking doing that on a regular basis, people are going to notice regardless of what you have between your legs. Uh, I don't know how to say How would you say that? Obia man. Obia man. Oh, I see. O-B-E-A-H. God, I'm stupid. Um, <clears throat> what is your favorite Pokemon and Pixar? I don't know. Too old for that. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. That's that creepy little yellow thing. <laughs> there goes ice. <laughs> this is Southside Steve, and this is Southside Steve TV, and this is Bill Burr. That's your question? I'm just saying who you are. Oh, yeah, all right. I don't like you. Creep me out with that big microphone and that country western shirt. Oh, no, this isn't country western. It's like, it's hip now to oh, wear this. Okay. This is my nightclub look. Yeah, okay. come on. All right. <laughs> you're, you're uh, what is this? Rock 100.5. Mm -hmm. This is the worst interview I've ever done. <laughs> and he's wearing Stetson cologne or something. It's just really over <laughs> overpowering. How you doing? You know what he looks like? He looks like the first guy who gets his ass kicked in a Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> no. The background guy behind the, uh, the, the big kingpin. Why don't you handle this? Ha, 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 ha.
I'm a huge fan of hockey. I love it. And I love that people don't get it down in the States. I love it. I love it. Why do they make, why do they let them fight? I can't see the puck. It's like music to my ears. <laughs> it's like, good, yeah, get out of here. Do you, just get out of here. Let me, let me, let me watch it in it's, peace. Do you remember when they lit up the puck? For a few years on, on TV, News, yeah, that was you guys. Do you know, no, but the but the NHL. Well, no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait wait a minute. Though. time out, Not time well. out, time out. The NHL is you guys too, so all the owners had to agree with that, and you all had to be like, we gotta, we gotta like expand this thing. We thought we'd funnel money into Canada and keep it here, but you guys took it over, like you tend to do. But well, I'm not going to apologize no, for that. No, no, no. You're big on the yeah. I mean, that's just business, dude. You're acting like we came and knocked you on the head. You know what we're about? I yeah. We wait. Wait a minute. Oh yeah. Wait a second, <laughs> fellow white person, <laughs> not native to this country. How did you guys get this up here? Did the Native Americans go? Oh well, we like these white guys. You can have all that <laughs> land. Jesus Christ. No. I, oh, I get it. Your shit smells like maple syrup up here. <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? All right. Yeah. I'll go with it. You know, I was reading a little bit about you, and it says that you have a tendency to kind of go with your first thought. Yeah. Because reading makes you sleepy. That's right. And my first thought is this is the best week to be here, the week before the Super Bowl. That is so true. Before all the whores fly in. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. But just want to get out. Wow. <laughs> just want to get out of here before that. What is true? This is like the Oscars uh, for oh. prostitutes. Okay. All right. This well, entire week. Let's remember we're G rated here. <laughs> is, is there any specific repairing that you do when you do an urban room, or do you just do your regular material? Yeah, I rent car wash, <laughs> and I watch. <laughs> no, it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so blow. <laughs> yeah, so cool. I watch that. I uh, make sure I get to buy a couple of Red Fox albums. <laughs> I start talking like this when I get on like on the stage. You're at your girlfriend's sister's house. Sister just had a baby, cute little baby. You know, three, four months old. You know, when they're just a blob of squishiness, very cute. Right. Comes over, hands you the baby. You're sitting in the living room on the armchair. You're holding the baby up. Baby keeps putting his little feet right on your crotch. <laughs> Wiggling around the soft little feet, pushing, stomping like grapes. Right. You start to feel a natural physiological response to that. Yet for some reason I don't move the baby. I just let it continue to step on my junk. Every In this day. situation, oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. So now. Makes total sense. In talking your way out of it, everything makes sense. Okay. So now you're, you're at, I, I'm going to call three quarters mask. The sister comes over to grab the baby because it started to cry. I'm wearing sweatpants. You got sweatpants on. Sister picks up the baby, the mother, your girl, her, the sister. All look down. They see it. Talk your way out of it. I mean, what was I supposed to do? It was stepping on my dick. Was I supposed to throw it on the floor? I mean, it's a fucking baby. It's over here like it's trying to make wine on my cock and balls. You know? You fucking hold it. See what happens to your dick. Happy holidays. <laughs> there you go. I'm out of it. Happy you holidays. Just, you just, just go with honesty. <laughs> this game's easy. So your Christian background is is part of the, the show. Or yes, and I episodes. wanted to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, <laughs> I, no, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know, As far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Who did? I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good Lord. So did you that's, feel that's you were being stuff. disrespectful or just you, you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> <laughs> More so than my cartoon. All right, listen. A couple of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically, they just, they just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld. After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. 
All right, I'm not totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about. It's a morning show. I understand. Like, hey, time you came on. Positive. That kid positive. was missed the graduation, and then, then the, it was a feel-good story. It was a feel-good, and we want to leave. If you want to feel good about America, you watch the morning shows. You don't watch this, you know. And we were joking earlier. If that kid's story about the graduation was late night, that would have been a whole different story. What do you think? He's still missing. We can't <laughs> find him. All we found was his hat. But you watch in the morning. It's great. It all worked out. He got his own personal graduation. Like, I was in such a great mood. Look how <laughs> yellow this couch is. It's like the sun. Now, let's out with you. are a major conspiracy theorist. I'm a realist, though. Yes. Conspiracy theory has gotten a bad name where now it's, it's, it's become synonymous with, like, moronic thought. Like, if you're into conspiracy theory, if you think, like, the bankers need to be stopped, then you also think the moon is made out of cheese. <laughs> and you think that there's shape -sh shifters and, like, lizard people. You know, they just try to knock it down. It's like, this country started with a conspiracy. That's how it came. We won, <laughs> so they're considered heroes and rebels, you yeah. know, uh, whatever, what re saying? revolutionaries, but yeah. if they lost, they would be hanged for, conspi for yeah. conspiring. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's not like it spontaneously happened. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, everybody just picked up a gun and started shooting at the British. You know, they sat around. <laughs> they, said they planned they it out. They planned it out. Yeah. I'm kind of getting tired of these people. What are you <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, when you said we win, I'm like, did we really win? But I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. Now, oh, is that that African American thing? Yeah. <laughs> What is it? The Old Park Network. Oh, the Old Park Network. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's going on, you old? What are you on? What's going on, you old sons of bitches? Turn up your hearing aid. You're watching the Old Park Channel. What do you think about uh, population, world population? It's completely out of control. Well, I, what about I, I, be fruitful and multiply? I think we did that. I think we, I think we achieved that goal, and it's time to move on to something else. I mean, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. Like, uh, I think we need to kind of curb the babies for a minute, let some older people die off, you know, and uh, I don't know. I think like a good number is about, I don't know, about 500 million. Oh, really? Six, and let the oceans come back. Yeah, but how do you choose? Give people some space but you're again. But you're, you're not talking about death panels. You're just talking about attrition. Yeah, just, you know. Birth control, then. Birth control, old people die, somebody falls off a ladder. Right. You gradually, you know, you taper it up. Don't Here's you? what would I think maybe get rid of seatbelts. I mean, there's some things we could do to move things no, just along. Just get rid of medicine. Get rid of medicine. Yeah, all these diseases we're trying to stop is nature actually keeping us in check, but we can contemplate like love and, and uh, uh, loss and our own mortality. So we think these diseases are bad. They are bad, they, but animals get them all the time and it keeps them in check. And we stopped get, all of that get shit. Get rid of medicine. Get rid of medicine. Get rid Live of Live a healthy life. Eat well. Get rid of Dude, pesticides. If it wasn't for modern medicine, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I should not be here. I had a ruptured appendix in 1980. I should have died under a stack of wool blankets on a prairie. But I did. Eat a green jello? Yeah. No, here I am. Just walking around, taking up space, driving a car, polluting a river in my own way, adding my hole to the ozone layer. I mean.